Good morning, children. How are you? This is a great book. This is called Can I Be Your Dog by Troy Cummings. So sit down, get cozy, and let's go. I'm going to take the dust cover off. This story is written with notes. So here's the first note, and it tells the story that way. Dear people at the Yellow House, woof, can I be your dog? I am potty trained and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you. Who's a good dog? I am. Sincerely, Arfie. P.S. That means postscript. That means if you want to add something to your letter, you write P.S. And he says, I know every house on Butternut Street, but I asked you first. So there's the Yellow House he's talking about. There's the post lady. There's the kids playing in the yard. And where's that? There's that cat over there. He says he'll work with the cat. I don't know if I believe that. And the Honeywells who live there write, Dear Arfie, we are so sorry, but you cannot be our dog. Our cat is allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search. So there's Arfie. He's in the alleyway reading the letter and feeling sad because he can't move into that house. He writes the letter now to the butcher lady. Dear butcher lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I would keep the floor nice and clean. Arfie. And there's the chop chop butcher shop. There's that post office lady walking by again. Arfie thinks he can clean up anything that drops to the floor. And Veronica Shank, the butcher, says, Look, pal, I've got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let the dog in my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Uh-oh. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking it a pooch. Veronica Shank, no hard feelings. Enjoy these dried giblets and good luck finding a home. So she gave him a little snack. So Arfie's eating those. He goes now to the Butternut Fire Department. Dear Fire Station Number 5, can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots. Plus, let's just say I know my way around the fire hydrant. I'm not going to tell you what that means exactly. I've sniffed out every single one on Butternut Street and yours is the shiniest. Arfie. There he is at the fire station. He's got his paw print. He, he signed with a paw print. That's his signature. And there's that mail lady again who works for the U.S. Postal Service. Butternut Street Fire Station. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of fire dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter of file. Best wishes in your shirt. Search station number five. Arfie's not happy with that letter. You see what he's doing with that letter. I don't know if that's polite. Now he's by the junkyard, the butternut dump. Dear junkyard guy, I'm not going to lie. You're my next to last choice, but these past few days have been rough, 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 rough. So please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much, and I can bark at people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours, Arfie. He's hoping that he can live there. And there you see the guy who runs the junkyard, and there's that mail carrier lady again who works for the Postal Service. And there's the junkyard with all the junk behind the fence. Uh-oh. Dear Muck, get lost. The man at the junkyard wasn't very polite. Very direct. Guess he doesn't want a dog there. Our feet feels bad. Now he's at the last house on Butter Street. Can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds and your windows are broken. There's a funny smell, but I'm not picky. Just lonely. Arfie's lonely. And there's that scary house on the end of Butternut Street that's all boarded up. No one's lived there for a long time. People go by and think it's haunted. Scary. And the letter comes back to him. Return to sender. Nobody at this address. And Arfie's, it's raining on that. He's crying. He's sort of howling and crying because he's got no home to live in. He walks down an alley and he climbs into a box to try to stay a little warmer and dry because it's raining hard and it's dark and he's really sad. He wakes up when the rain stops and look, there's an envelope with a pink heart on it and it says to Arfie. And it says, Dear Arfie, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what. Snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see that you already know everyone on Barnard Street. I know you'll make a first-class partner with hugs and head scratches. 
Who do you think this is from? Who's been in the story? It's from Mitzi Whipple, the letter carrier. Do you agree? Meet me at the big blue mailbox. That's a nice letter from the mail carrier, Mitzi. And here she is looking down Main Street. Donut shop, cafe, library, all the buildings. And she's looking to see if Arfie's coming. And here he comes. He's running full speed ahead. And he jumps into her arms and gives her a little kiss on the cheek. Dogs love to lick you. That's how they kiss. Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail's been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes. Truly yours, Arfie. P.S. Woof. Scritch scratch. So they're best friends, and Arfie's got someone to help take care of him, and he's going to take care of her. So the Mitzi, the mail carrier, is going to be his person. So Arfie finally got settled. I hope you enjoyed that story, and uh, try to read a little bit, maybe 20 minutes a day is really important in school and after school. So listen to your teachers today, and have a great day. Thanks for listening.